Hello everyone and welcome to the full cuts of our filming footage for the Roto Rip Duo which releases on May 19th, presented without reaction commentary for you to develop your own opinions or let your eye for all reaction do the talking, though I do have a bit of relevant information and some behind the scenes thoughts to get you started. We're bowling on Kegel Chromium, it's a challenge pattern at just under a 7 to 1 ratio. 42 feet long, 25 and a half mils, uh, so it's longer, heavier, and flatter than a typical house shot, but not as punishing as a sport shot. You'll notice that there's hang on the gutter and hook in the middle. We did resurface both balls as we don't care for Reacta Gloss, which is the box finish for this ball. Both were taken down to a thousand grit on a resurfacing machine. Angels was finished from there with Reacta Scuff, which gets the ball to a 3,000-ish grit sheen or matte finish, while I finished mine with Step 2 Compound to lightly shine it back up. We always get many more shots during filming than you see in the reviews, and this is for a couple reasons. We always put a few games on the ball during filming to break it in and maybe even get some transition on the lanes as well so we get a better idea about the ball or understand it more. And when I go to cut down the footage, I'm looking for shots that represent the ball motion uh, accurately, not that just strike. You'll notice several in here that don't. I do remove shots that are completely thrown out the window and that add no substance to the video whether they strike or not. Poorly executed shots don't tell you anything. Marginal shots can, and good shots that are a bit off target can, but straight up bad shots are just a waste of time. People will say things like, yeah, but I feel like the reviewer's being more honest if they show all the shots, or I want to see how versatile and forgiving it is. And while those are fair points, you can be honest without wasting someone's time or by leaving shots in that have zero value. And forgiveness has more to do with the lane conditions, bowler style, the lanes themselves, and many more factors beyond what you can see on a ball video. A bowler with slower speed will get more forgiveness on misses outside, while a higher speed bowler will get more forgiveness from misses inside, for example. A ball will also be more forgiving on a house shot than it will be on a challenge pattern like we're on or a sport pattern that will make most balls look bad on the fresh. Context and transparency are most important to me, so this is the way that I've chosen to present my videos. Uh, my intent is that you come away with a good sense of the ball reaction. I'd say about 90% of the shots that we throw make it into the cuts, but only about 50% of the cut makes it into the regular review just because I usually have a lot more footage than I end up needing. Feel free to compare this video to my regular review and see how well you think I described and represented the ball reaction with the shots I selected. Uh, the full cuts will of course be in the in-depth live stream, repeated a time or two I'd imagine, but for now I'll stop rambling and leave you to enjoy the ball reaction. I just thought I'd offer some behind the scenes info and my thought process on why I do what I do and why you may or may not be getting the information you think you are from a video. A reviewer can be honest or transparent, but also not have a clue what they're talking about, or the forgiveness you think you're seeing out of a ball might just be due to a really easy condition. Videos are really for a general look at the ball reaction and to see how it compares to other balls. I will of course have plenty of comparisons coming both with and without commentary and analysis depending on which is more helpful for you. My sponsors are Storm, Turbo Grips, Coolwick, Bowlers Mart, and the SRG BBFS group on Facebook. Code Rosedahl10 will get you 10% off your order at checkout at Coolwick. And there's also a link to pre-order the Duo from Bowlers Mart in the description. With each purchase of a Duo, Rotogrip will also donate 5% of the proceeds to Big Brothers Big Sisters. Hope you enjoy the rest of the ball reaction, and may the strikes be with you.